Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thoughts Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today, I think, probably, we're going to play Alien Zombie Death. I say probably because this was a PSP minigame, which I don't even know how you get this thing legit anymore. So, you know, when we started this 1001 quest, there were so many different ways to play some of these games, but literally, you know, it's been eight years since we started, and these games weren't exactly spring chickens when we started the, the quest here. So some of these are literally becoming very difficult to find. So... um uh, this is another one that uh, we're going to run through emulator here today because I I don't I don't know you know what? I I'll be fair I didn't do my full homework on this one uh, as to whether or not there is a legit way to play it but uh, it was a seven megabyte download so I'm willing to bet that it is a tiny and short game although we'll see I don't know like what what's the biggest experience you could pack into seven megabytes it could be a lot I mean back in the day. Uh, I played a lot of Doom, and that was like like two or three floppy disks, the 1.44 megabyte. They called them floppy. They were actually hard. Um, they were actually five and a quarter inch floppy disks, the big black floppy ones I remember as a kid. And I think those held like 700 kilobytes or 300 kilobytes, depending on if you had the high density or the double-sided. But 1.44 megabyte floppy disks, Doom could fit on a couple of those. So hey, six megabytes on the PSP could be seeing uh, uh, an immersive experience here. We will see. I'm willing to bet this is some sort of like asteroids or uh, Galaxia kind of game from the fact that we're seeing power-ups. Oh no, I was totally wrong. It's a dude. It's a dude game. Um, okay, so up jumps, which is awful. Um, oh, I see. So, the, so X shoots left and A shoots right. I guess it's circle on the PSP and square. Um, having up be a jump button is something that I feel like went out of fashion with the Commodore 64. So I am sorry, developers, but you instantly get a point off for not allowing me to just have uh, a normal jump button. Like, seriously, is this the Middle Ages? What is happening here? All right, so it's sort of like a wave survival. Ooh, I like this. The spread gun. Contra style. Oh, we ran out of bullets, so that's, that sucks. Uh-oh, they're all coming to kill me. Oh, I landed at, wait, that like, was that electricity there? Did I just not notice it, or did it just spawn? Replay Fondy. The hell does that mean? Saving to memory stick. Let's just like replay the level. Okay. So this is it. <laughs> this is the game. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's give it a shot. Maybe there's more to it. Maybe we will discover more to it. Um I'm not optimistic at the moment. I'm feeling like we got served a lemon. You know? Like I, I think the book. Has, we've talked about the, the choices the book makes. The book is like a child whom you love, but doesn't always make the best choices, you know? Sometimes they get involved with the wrong people. Sometimes they're like, Dad, you gotta listen to this song, and they put it on, it's just like trash. And you're like, oh boy, where did we go wrong raising you? Where did we go wrong with the book? Did we not love the book enough? Why is it doing this to us? Why is it picking these games? We're going to give the game the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it will surprise us. But I feel like it is just literally a wave survival game of this. I think this is... I, I think we've seen the game. I don't know what else there's going to be to see. And and the, the cherry on top is the stupid up button is the jump. I, I just... I despise it. You, you've lost... If, if, you, if you make a game and you want me to try it out... The one way you can lose me from the start is with that up button jump thing, man. I want to press X so bad. X makes you drop down a platform. I don't even know what... Oh, look. Y lets you jump. I don't like that. I just want it to be X. 
See, I'm, I'm old school. I'm from the Nintendo days where A made you jump. And if you wanted to jump down, you press down and jump. See, I don't mind so much that down makes you jump down. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. It's just the up thing that I dislike. Are there any game mechanics that drive you guys nuts? It can be a common mechanic that does exist today or one from the olden times. But is there like a mechanic that like when you see it today, you're like, oh my God, I thought we were past this. Again, again with the up button. Um, I'll say one other, one other mechanic I'm not crazy about. It's not really so much a mechanic as much as it is just uh, the fact that something isn't standardized. But it's the fact that every time I go to play a first person shooter or third person shooter, there's always some variation in the controls, you know? Like it's very common that the bumper, the right bumper reloads, but sometimes it's the, the square button. Sometimes it's like the, the triangle button, right? Like it, it varies. Um, and then like the button to run, the button to zoom, these things all vary. And so where it annoys me is like, if I've been playing a bunch of Uncharted and then I go to play some Remnant with a buddy or something like that, or Division, it's like I gotta remap the controls. And the worst is when you are playing two games where they have the same mechanic, but they're using two totally different buttons for it. So in both Uncharted and The Division, you can press a button to go into cover. Um, but it's the opposite button, you know, like in in Uncharted, there's one button to go into cover and one button to um, You know, like uh, I think jump over cover like jump jump over uh, An obstacle and in the division those two buttons are reversed So if I've been playing some Uncharted and I go to play the division I'm constantly jumping out of cover when I'm trying to go into cover and vice versa and same with uh, If you've been playing some division go to Uncharted um, or any game really so the fact that we're in the year 2023 and the people making third person shooters can't agree on all the buttons uh sometimes i would say it's not as maddening as the up button and the the other thing too is that like credit where credit is due or fairness where fairness is due not every third person shooter is the same some have cover some don't right so it's like they probably are not going to have all the exact same buttons so you know i'm I would say that's less of like a pet peeve of mine as more like a minor annoyance. Like I get over it pretty quick. Uh, I have a friend who I play with who really does not, but it's sort of fun to listen to him like get all upset about the controls. Um, we should play another level while I'm rambling. Uh, but uh, but yeah, the controls, I mean, it is what it is. It's fine. Um, but the up button, there's literally no excuse. They made a choice to make it up and they chose wrong. It's like the knight in Indiana Jones, you know, he's like the guy like fades away and turns into a Nazi skeleton or whatever and dies because he drank from the wrong, wrong grave. And then the knight is like, he chose poorly. That's what I feel like should happen to the developers of this game. They should, they should <laughs> fade away in the Nazi skeletons and then an ancient knight should berate them for their poor choices in life. Now that would be, that'd be an ultimate way to be punished. As a game developer, it, it may be a little on the harsh side, but not so not so much that uh, am I supposed to shoot this thing? What is this? Do I jump? Do I get it? No, I can't even jump over there. Just gone. Okay. Anyway, this is it. Um, I don't know. A wave survival game. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. I can already tell you my review. Uh. If you like this game for some reason or grew up with it, power to you. Definitely would not recommend this. Unless it was like somebody who I knew liked these sort of like, there are people who like these sort of wavy challenges, but like for me, this is a hard no, this is a hard pass. This is uh, you know, we don't, we, we often go into these games in the book with an open mind and an open heart. And we try to see the good in all of them and where they all may fit in the gaming history. I see no value here. <laughs> if I'm being told, let's be brutal. Let's be bitches. This game sucks. There you go. To all the developers who worked on this watching it, leave me your tears in the comments below. Leave me your hate. I, des I deserve it, frankly. But uh, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know what there is to say about this game. I'm gonna, we'll just play around this level a little more, but then when we die, I'm just gonna go look what the book said about it, and then I think we'll be done with this one, because, like, what else is there to see? It's, uh, just a tiny little game. Could have been a Flash game back in the day. Could have played this on Newgrounds, if you were so inclined. Back in the, the days of Flash. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's well made for what it is, I guess. The... Reminds me a little bit of Geometry Wars. You know, that game started off as a mini game, it came its own thing. I just, uh, yeah. Don't know. Don't know what, what the appeal of this one is. I feel like this would keep me busy for like 20 minutes. And then I'd be done with it. It's sort of like, you know, the reason Flash games like this were big back in the era of Newgrounds is because everyone played them on their office computers, right? Or at school or something. Like, you'd be at a computer where you couldn't install a video game, but you want to play a video game. So Newgrounds had you covered. They had these tiny little video games like this you could play, and it was kind of fun. Nowadays, you know, I don't know what the excuse is to play a game like this. I guess it was on mobile, maybe. But even I feel like mobile games, you can get better ones than this. What is this called again? Alien Zombie Death. Death. I was going to say Death Squad, but I think it's just Alien Zombie Death. Alien... Oh, jeez. Looking in the wrong index here. We've unlocked some moons. I mean, might as well check out these moons while we wait. But bear with me while I look this up here. Here's a fun fact. There was a revision of the 1001 book, and this game got taken out of it. <laughs> so that... Tells you everything you need to know about uh, what the developers eventually thought about this game. Like, I just want to read this description here. Oh, I better shoot. Here we go. I'm playing one finger while I look through the book. Oh, they're going to kill me. Oh, well, I died. Anyway, um, Alien. It's like right at the back of the book, too. It's like one of the last games. Holy crap. Wait, 946, 947. Wow, it it is on this is the last page of the thousand and one book. Okay. You know when like you're trying to finish an essay for school and it's counting down and you just like throw anything at the very end just to finish it, get that word count up? This is the thousand and first video game. Man, I should have saved this for something special. But this clearly feels phoned in by the, the guys who wrote this book. So it says, you are a lone spaceman doing something or other on a mining platform floating around random planet. Then the alien zombies intent on destruction of all spacemen doing stuff in space. So it begins the first page of the instructions, along with other British developers, such as Bizarre Creations. Pom Pom knows a thing or two about retro style shooters. Um, God, it just does, it just talks about nothing. Is the disregard for anything more than the barest contextualization hints at the alien zombie death pure gaming focus. What the hell does that mean? What initially feels like an awkward setup soon comes into its own as the alien zombies, some shuffling, some flying, some able to change layers of the platform, begin to fill the level and running in one direction while firing the other becomes paramount. Other perils must also be avoided, blah, blah, blah. Great twin stick shooter lies alien zombie death i don't know play it if you want don't blame me if you do uh one of the mm. games of the book a thousand video games just play before you die got taken out in later editions frankly because i don't i i think it was a poor choice i think there's so many other games that could go in this book book did we not love you enough guys what do you think of this game am i being a cruel monster am i just jaded or Am I right on the money? I don't know. You you decide. You you know what? I tell you what. I'm I'm always deciding my thoughts on the game. Hey, let's end on a level. I'm always deciding my thoughts on the game. I'm going to shut up on this one and let you guys decide. You guys make the call. You get all the glory or all the blame, depending on how you think about it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should this have been in the book? Is this a video game you must play before you die? I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, if you like this game, there's absolutely no... I'm not judging you at all. Like the game, you know? People like all kinds of games. There's all kinds of games that aren't my cup of tea people enjoy quite a bit. All kinds of games I really like, other people don't really care for. It's all good. 
But in terms of even if you like this, this game, do you really think this is a game people must play before you die? Is there something so unique about this game in terms of its history, its influence, or just its gameplay that you think people would have to play? And that's where I have to say no. That's where I have to say this, this game definitely doesn't belong in the book. Um, and again, the developers agreed. They agreed ultimately. With the benefit of hindsight, they were like, oh God, it's like waking up from a hangover. They look at the thousand one list, they look at this game, they're like, oh god, what did we do? What did we do? And they did it. The crazy bastards did it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop talking. I hope you did enjoy this video and my subtly anger-laden rant about the up button and just mediocre shooters ending up in a grand list of a thousand and one games just play before you die. If you did, don't forget to like the video. Come back soon. I, the one sadness with this game is I didn't realize this was on the very last page of the book. We literally played the game, the thousand and first game, sort of, uh, chronologically, I guess. So I guess the game, the book is more or less, uh, organized chronologically. So this must have been a pretty new release. You know, this is like the most recent game that was in the book when the book came out. Maybe the develop, maybe the writers of the book had just started playing this game. And they were like really into it and they're like oh man like it was just brand new and they pl the day they played it they had to submit the book so they added this and then a couple days later they're like Ooh, i take it back <laughs> you know who knows guys i will catch you in the next one until next time my friends stay frosty and i don't know peace game over